Hi guys, JSQ here, and welcome to a mod showcase. Now, this mod, I really do like, because it is something that I don't think has been done before, like, in the, in this way. Um, it, obviously, from the title of the video, is probably why you're here, um, it's actually visible armor slots. So, say if we go into, like, a an anvil, you can see your armor slots down the side. Now, I'm going to show you, um, pretty much... How, how much it can help like, when you're actually playing Minecraft because at the moment you're just like oh yeah it's just got armor slots on the side and stuff like that and you're like oh okay, yeah cool um, by the way this world is awesome it's called Homecraft if you want to download it uh, just type in Homecraft onto Google I'll probably link it in the description but if I forget I'm sorry but the world's called Homecraft if you want to go get it yourself um, also if you want the mod it is for 1.9 version of Minecraft as you can see I'm holding a shield um, and I'm pretty kitted up for this. I normally just do my mod showcases in um, in just my my skin, naked. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm pretty kitted up because I want to show you guys the armor slots and how they're working and stuff like that. <laughs> my dog just like disappeared and then I just found her behind me. What the hell? Scary stuff. It's like the it's like the uh, Illuminati dog. Oh well. Um, anyway, let's carry on with this mod showcase and not get distracted by my dog. Um, so, yeah, these are all the blocks. If you're wondering why I've just got a mass of chests and everything, I'm going to show you all the different blocks that this works on and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, uh, what it is, is all these blocks are pretty much have the, have the mod on them. So, if you go into an anvil and you want to repair your sword or something like that then you've got your armor slots on the side and the good thing is that it's interactive so you can like take your shield off with it put your shield back in your armor slot take your boots off put it in there but i'm gonna at the at the very end i'm gonna show you how it can be like i said before i'm repeating myself but i'll show you the best way it can be used in my opinion um, but i'm just gonna go through all the blocks that it works with at the moment so you've got the you got the beacon it works with as well you see the armor slots are on the side i don't know what's gone on there is that I think that's something to do with my Minecraft, actually, because as you can see, um, has it happened here as well? No, it hasn't happened there, but they all seem to come out of place. I think it's my Minecraft because it happens like this on vanilla as well, I do believe. Um, like it, it puts all my armor out of the way, so don't be put off by that. It won't won't happen for you. I think it, my Minecraft just glitched a little. Uh, it might be my forge, I'm not sure, but as you see, this double chest, it works for you. So obviously, if you want to just equip stuff straight from your chest, like I'll put my diamond helmet in there, uh, you want to go in get your diamond helmet put it straight on you and stuff like that i suppose it could be good for like pvp i'm guessing like say someone's running at you and you're like crap i'm naked i need to put some armor on and you go in here grab your helmet i've already got my helmet on and put it on and then you go yeah not as not as bad as that i'd probably be dead by now if i did it in that speed i just like turned around and pressed f5 and i was like hello um but yeah Pretty much, it's pretty cool for chests because you can equip your armor straight from it. Uh, it works the same with the smaller chest. I don't know why I've put that there because it's the same as a double chest. But anyway, it works with the ender chest as well. Uh, it works with trapped chests. This is a trapped chest, by the way. I think the only the only difference of them is that little red tint around the lock. See, so, yeah, it's kind of brown on the normal chest and the trapped chest. It's kind of a bit, a bit more ready. Uh, it works with the crafting table, which is pretty cool. So if you craft your helmets... And you it showed up there, you can just put it in your put it on straight away. Uh, we got dispensers. So obviously you can just whack that in there and then not dispense anything because I've got no pressure plate there. But yeah, we'll, we'll not dispense that yet. <laughs> so I suppose for dispensers you could just stand on it and equip your armor anyway, but yeah, obviously you uh, you could put it in the dispenser the other way around rather than put it on like just take them out of your armor slots and put them in the dispenser, I guess. Uh, we've got this dropper, which it works the same as. Uh, we've got enchantment tables. I can't put anything in because I've already got enchant. Oh, well, I haven't. Yeah, I have. It just goes in that slot anyway. But yeah, you can enchant your armor and stuff, uh, which I'll show you in a second, which is probably the thing I want to show you the most. Uh, furnace, obviously, you can do this as well. And last but not least, the item hopper. So we could just whack our stuff in there and then, you know, equip it. So. Um, the good thing is, I think it works with Sight Hopper. If you've got items in the interface, there you can just shift click and it will put it on into the armor slots for you. So that's pretty cool. Um, what I want to show you now, guys, is me taking this armor off 
And uh, I'd probably just take the shield off because it's like a massive, massive thing on the screen. It probably took up like half the screen with that thing. With my massive Roman shield. Um, yeah, we're going to enchant some golden armor because why not? Let's YOLO it. Um, don't want to put it on. Thank you. I don't know why the, I don't know why the golden helmet's gone into the shield slot there. Maybe something needs fixing. I'm not sure. Should we? Yeah, the helmet seems to go into the... Uh, I'm just holding my... I've got... I've got my golden helmet of shieldness. Oh. Yeah. Um, that's better. Come on. Go away, rain. Okay, so now that now that weather's gone, it always seems to rain when I want to do videos on this. God damn it, Minecraft. If you guys watch any of my videos, it always rains when I want to actually do videos. So, thank you, Minecraft. Um, so, yeah, we was going to do this enchantment, and it's going a bit dark. So, let's set the timer. Time today again. See the glare of the sun? What's that glowstone doing right there? What the hell? Um, anyway, what I wanted to show you guys was, say you wanted to enchant stuff, like, I don't know why the... Like, I don't know why that is going into the the shield slot. Maybe it's a... It's not doing it now. What? What the hell? Okay, that's strange. Very strange. Um, sure. So yeah. Say you wanted to enchant an item and you didn't want to go out. Because normally what you do is you'd enchant something, put it into your inventory, come out of it, go into your interface and put it on manually, like so. Or just, uh, just right-click it and it'll get put on. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's how you do it normally. But obviously now you can just put it straight into your, onto your, onto you. Yeah, that's, that was, that was the way of saying it. Um, so if I ch enchant that chest plate with protection one, I can now put that on me. Uh, golden leggings, do that, put it on me. Okay, I just flip clicked and it went straight into my inventory. God damn it. It's going straight into my inventory. Uh, if ever fall in, yeah, we'll have that. And then put it straight on you. And then, there you go, that's pretty much you wearing enchanted armour quickly from an enchanting table. Uh, it obviously works with chests as well, quite well. So yeah guys, that's pretty much the uh, pretty much this visible armour slots mod. If you want to go download it yourself, the link will be in the description below. And also leave a like on this video if you thought it was helpful. Or comment your thoughts in the comment section below on this mod. So, I'll be happy to see them. So yeah guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And also go check out my social media and stuff like that, like Twitter. Um, so yeah guys, thank you so much for watching, this has been JSQ and I will see you in my next video, peace!